Hi there, this is Charlotte Jacobs from Thrive Academy and on today's video, you're going to discover how to neutralize one of those nasty inner gremlins that tells you that you can't accomplish your vision. All right, last week we invited you to create a crystal clear, inspiring, and exciting vision of your future success. Now the question you might have now is, is my business vision too big or too small? Well, here's how you can tell. Now if your vision is huge, like touching the lives of millions of people, but you feel completely overwhelmed by this vision, let's say right now you have five paying clients and millions seems like it's totally impossible, and it feels so out there that you have no emotional connection to this vision, well then your vision is too big. So we recommend you make your vision smaller so you can feel connected to it. On the other hand, if you are 100% certain that you can accomplish your vision in the next five years, then your vision is too small. Your vision is also too small if you know exactly step by step how you're going to accomplish your vision. And if this is the case, you're leaving no room for the great intelligence of the universe to rush in and support you with the people, energy, money, and resources you need to fulfill on to create your vision as a reality. Every great vision depends on great mentors, a great team, and a great community of people backing it up. Now the purpose of creating your crystal clear vision is to stretch you to become the leader you were born to become. So if you don't know how to accomplish your vision yet, then it's actually a good sign. You have room to grow. So here's how to know if your vision is the right size. Do you feel connected with it? Does it excite you? Does it scare you? Believe it or not, if your vision doesn't scare you at least a little bit, like make your heart beat a little bit faster, then it's probably not going to be that fulfilling when your vision becomes a reality. So in summary, if you're overwhelmed by your vision, it's probably too big. If you feel nothing when you think of your vision, it's probably too small. And if you feel a little nervous excitement when you think of your vision, it's probably just right. You'll also know you're on the right path when your inner gremlins start rearing their ugly heads saying things like, I'm not good enough, I'm not ready, and people can't afford my services. Yes, I really meant that. You're on the right path when your inner gremlins get riled up and come out to play. Why? Because even though your inner gremlins tell you terrible, awful things about yourself, their primary job is to keep you safe and secure, and when you have a big vision, even if it's an exciting vision, your comfortable existence is threatened. So would you like to neutralize these gremlins? Well, here are three steps to neutralizing your inner gremlins so you can fulfill your vision. Step one, get excited when your inner gremlins come out to play. It's actually great news. It means you're about to take back more of your power and energy so that you can become the leader you're meant to become. Step two, question your inner gremlins. Your inner gremlins only have power when you confuse your gremlin with yourself. You are not your gremlin and your gremlin is not you and your inner gremlin does not speak the truth. Before Jesse became busy with getting married to me and Thrive and having children, he spent a month at Byron Katie's Center for the Work where he spent hundreds of hours questioning his beliefs. He discovered that he could not find evidence that even one of his negative, stressful beliefs were absolutely true. So write down what your nasty inner gremlin says about you and then question whether what your gremlin is saying is really true. I'm not good enough. Really? Is that true? Could that be proven in a court of law? Or could the opposite, I am good enough, be true or even truer? There is freedom in doing this inquiry for yourself. And you can go to thework.com to get the whole system because what I shared is only a small piece of her powerful breakthrough system. All right, step three, get support. If your inner gremlins are anything like ours or the thousands of clients that we've worked with, they are stubborn, persistent, sneaky, powerful, and pesky. They're invisible also, so they have the power to elude you and take over your mind when you least want them to. They are the glass ceiling that keep you right where you are, stuck, small, and alone, and left to their own devices. They manifest as pain in your body. Your inner gremlins are not made to be tackled alone. At the Client Attraction Summit, we do several processes to help you transform your nastiest inner gremlins so they no longer have power to sabotage you. One of the most powerful processes we do is on late Friday afternoon. So it's amazing what's possible when your inner gremlins no longer have control of you or your body. But we can tell you that you will go through some powerful sessions during the Client Attraction Summit that will change your life and business forever. People come up to us crying, telling us that this three-day event changed their life and on Tuesday, November 18th, just five days from now, we're opening up full scholarships to the Client Attraction Summit. We hope to see you there. All right, this is Charlotte Jacobs signing off because it's your time to thrive.
Line Attraction Summit is coming soon.